Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Nestor, and I welcome you once again to our Timely Truth. Today is Friday, and I hope and pray that you're going to be blessed with our short exhortation of the Word of God. Let me ask you this question. In the beginning, uh, when you started your walk with the Lord, to those of you, of course, that have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, my question to you is, did you ever struggle with this uh, with the reality that you have no answer to so many questions, especially in the Word of God, especially with the walks of life, especially with the questions of life. Well, for me in the beginning, probably in the first three years of my walk with the Lord, and I was just developing my faith walk with God, I struggled with a lot of unanswered questions. But then when I listened to my pastor, I listened to my connect leader, I, list, I listened to the testimony, I listened to guest speakers, uh, you know, I, I watch some of the preachings. I have always wondered like, wow, how are they able to dig up the word of God and be able to explain all of this? And yet I can't explain. So I was so frustrated in the beginning. But then as I, as I began to mature in the Lord, I, I, I go through the word of God. And one day, I guess the spirit of God wanted to answer my question about why is it I have no answer to all the questions of life in the Word of God? And, you know, others are better in expounding the Word of God or sharing the Word of God. I came across 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9, when it says, For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imper imperfect disappears. When the Spirit of God allowed me to understand, to see this, and I just suddenly unfolded, I began to realize that here is Paul gifted with so much uh, revelation uh, from the Word of God. He wrote majority of the New Testament. And yet, in spite of this gift of knowledge and gift of revelation and anointing, he said this incredible statement, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. And when I read that, I, I something just kind of, I, I just kind of released inside of me. And I felt so relieved that, I don't have to know everything about God because after all, He is the only one that knows everything. Then I came to realize that my goal is not to know everything about God. My goal, first of all, is to fall in love with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, the blessed trying God, and then obey Him. But then at the same token, as I began to mature in the Lord as well, I realized that it's okay to say, I really don't know the answer to that question. I really don't know the answer to the theological uh, inquiry that you are asking about. You see, even Paul, with all the with all the inspiration of the Spirit of God, he realized that he is human and he is not all-knowing. And so he said, for I know in part and I will prophesy in part. In other words, he said, when it comes to knowledge of the Word of God, I re in as much as I wrote all of these things in the Scripture and in, in the Old New Testament, I don't know everything. And when it comes into the giftings of the Spirit of God, you know, I prophesy in part. I, I can't prophesy to every aspect of life except that one which was assigned by the Spirit of God. So when I understood this, I realized that it's okay to say, I really don't know the answer to that question. Let me look at, into that. Let me let me research, do some research. Let, let me ask my pastor. Let me ask my my cell group leader. Let me ask some of the people that have, you know, that are more uh, mature than me. And so, and then I realized also that the more that I, I, I get deeper in my walk with God, the more that I realized that I know less now compared to when I started my walk with the Lord. If ever that, if there was a moment where I realized that God uh, is so huge, that He's all-knowing, He's all-present, He's all-powerful, He's almighty, is now. If I look back, as I reflect on my on my walk with the Lord in the beginning, I thought I know so much about God. But then as I began to really, really walk with the Lord and became more intimate and personal, the more that He got bigger and bigger before, before my eyes. A greater revelation came upon me that, you know, He is God and I am not. He is divine and I am human. He is eternal. I am temporal. He is the provider. I am the recipient. He is the miracle worker. I am the subject. You know, and, and all of this revelation that have come into my life made me realize that I know less now more than when I started my walk with the Lord. But I am more dependent now to the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. 
and I realized that when you when you seek first the kingdom of God every day and his righteousness, the word of God says all these things shall be added unto you. And so let me settle this uh, once and for all, for all of us. Remember this. It is okay to say, I really don't know to the, uh, you know, the, uh, the answer to that question. And also realize that we are not, you know, we're not all knowing, we're not all present, we're not all powerful, we're not all mighty. God is. Why? It's because God is God and we are not. He's the creator of the universe. We are the occupiers of all this creation and provision that God has given us. So I hope and pray that you are inspired and encouraged by the short exhortation of the Word of God. Join us this Sunday once again at 9 a.m. Jesus is Lord Fellowship Tom's River or check us out on our website jilfnj.org. Our 9 a.m. of course is in person and we have the 1030 service which is online as well as in person. We call it the VIP video and in person. So God bless you. Always remember that God is God and we are not. Have a pleasant weekend, everyone. And always remember that we can never outlove, outgrace, and mercy. Out mercy.